Hi everyone, David Esp here, bringing you luxury fashion related content. If you like these type of videos, please consider liking, comment, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Let's jump in right to this video. So, I have been on the market for a wallet. As you can tell by the video title below, we're going to be unboxing this Goyard wallet here. And back in January, my wallet was stolen. I had the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. I'll insert a picture right here. This is what it looked like. And I loved that wallet. It was super functional, had everything that I needed. The only thing it didn't have a slot for cash, but I still made it work. Um, now, since then, I did want to kind of level up or so since the since having the, the Louis Vuitton wallet and I figured let me look into Chanel and I didn't want anything as far as Gucci, Fendi or anything of that such so I figured I wanted to really level up and what better to level up than Goyard now Goyard isn't a brand that is able to be purchased online they do ship to you if you call up the stores individually, see what inventory they have based on what you're looking for, and they can ship you an item. But as far as finding the item online available to purchase, it is not. I will link this item down below because you can see they have a catalog online as far as what they do and do not offer. It's some items only, not all, but I did find this wallet through that website. Now, with this wallet, I did have to go to the New York City Upper East Side 63rd Street store, I believe it's on, and they were doing no appointments. I just walked in and was able to purchase the wallet. So, uh, without further ado, I'm not going to keep on rambling. Let's jump right into the unboxing. So, the bag here comes in this nice green goyard with yellow handles paper bag and it comes with this little ribbon attached to it to be honest i have no idea why some luxury stores do tack on this ribbon on the uh, handles of the bag if anyone knows please comment down below i've always been curious about this in addition to that there is the box in here which the wallet comes in and also the receipt, which we'll get into later. This is the box here. It has the same yellow ribbon. It says Goyard all over the place. Let's take that off. And this box, it's embossed with the Goyard embossing uh, print. Up here, it says made in France. Once we open the box, it does come with this yellow felt inside. Now, the one thing that I do dislike already is the, and I'm very nitpicky with everything, especially when paying a premium for items. And I love packaging, presentation, all about that. I do feel like you pay for an experience when you pay above average for something. Now, I do wish that this wallet did come with a dust bag. Just personal preference, I know I'll probably never put it in back in the box after using it, but just a preference of mine. So once we remove this felt, as you can see, this is the wallet. It is a sky blue, as they would call it. Vertical wallet. The wallet is in style Saint Pierre. Once opened, it has three slots on the left, three slots on the right. It has these inserts here on each side. And it also has a money slot as well for cash. This is the back side of the wallet, as you can see, classic Goyard print. And right here on the bottom left, it has the Goyard emboss stamp on it. Now, this wallet was a very expensive wallet, which we'll get into the price next. The, this is the receipt. It comes in. It comes in this little folder specifically for your receipt. And this is the receipt. Now, the price paid for this wallet was, after tax, $914.55. It retailed for $840. 
and local sales tax applying to there. Now, the wallet itself, it, as I mentioned, it's a very expensive wallet. I wanted to level up from my Louis Vuitton one, but I still love that wallet. I did want something similar to it, but not identical to it as well. So I figured this was my best bet. Goyard is known for their Saint Sulpice, I believe it's called, card holder and other uh, wallets, the bifold one uh, as well. But I wanted a little bit something different. Now, as far as the color, I was torn between this color, blue, sky blue, and the green color as well. The green color I'm saving for another item, which will be coming soon, so subscribe to, that ch uh, to this channel. And aside from that, I, once I did decide I want the blue, I didn't want any black or any uh, brown. Goyard does charge different pricing depending on the color that you do get. I know special colors like this tend to be higher in price than their classic colors, which are brown and black, I believe, and they tend to be about 100 to $200 cheaper depending on the item. I would confirm with the store about that. Do not quote me on that. But I do know there is a price difference between special colors and classic colors. Um, they do depend on the item, though. As far as this wallet, uh, once I decided I wanted the blue, rang it up, kept it moving. I was in the store for maybe about 45 minutes, absolute most. I already went in there knowing what I wanted. The salespeople were super helpful and they gave me their input. They made the experience very welcoming. And that's what I love when shopping for expensive things. And other stores, they sell you the item, you keep it moving, and that's basically it. This wallet I have, this wasn't a true unboxing, unfortunately, since I needed to move into the wallet sooner rather than later. I was able to, to add everything into here, which I will show up next uh, with everything, all the slots filled in. I've had this wallet for roughly about a month and a half now, and to be honest, I've had no complaints with it whatsoever. Now, the wallet itself, it's very practical. It's something that I can place in my jeans. I do have other handbags that I just slip this into. It will not fit on many sized handbags, unfortunately, depending on the size of the bag. One thing that I do want to note with this specific wallet, it is a coated canvas. So it's going to be durable, but it will not last a lifetime, unfortunately. I've seen pre-owned Goyard uh, items before, and this embossing here uh, and in the logo will rub off over time, which is fine. Um, I do know that that comes with wear and tear, and it also depends on how well you care for things. I had the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer, which was slightly shorter uh, than this, slightly meaning maybe a quarter of an inch slider. Um, then this, this fits in the palm of my hand. I did have that wallet for about two years or so, and I had no complaints. The coated canvas held up pretty great. I have high expectations for this one again, um, as well. But, um, in the box also included is this little tag here, has the Goyard logo. And on the back side, it shows what the item was, uh, made of. And in this case, it's coated textile, which is the coated canvas, uh, calfskin leather, which is the interior here, this blue, and goatskin leather lining, which is the interior here, the yellow portion of the wallet, and as well as made in France. Um, in addition to that, it has also this little booklet here which I believe these are the care instructions. I do appreciate that, even though I paid a premium. I would love if the wallet came with some cash inside, but uh, we can't have it all, can we? Uh, aside from that, I'm going to now queue over to inserting everything that I have into these slots so you guys can get more feel of what the wallet looks like with something inside. And as you can see, I filled up some uh, cards into the wallet. Excuse me if things look a little bit differently. My camera died. And this is a new channel, so please consider subscribing. It will help us out a lot. I have two cards here on the left, two cards here on the right. 
I have a card here in the inner slot as well as some cash here in the inner portion of the wallet. Now the wallet is super functional but the only only con for me personally is that this third slot here on the left and on the right hand side the only thing with these slots is if I put a card in there it will hide kind of the second card in each slot and to be honest it drives my OCD insane because I like seeing things very uniform and that just throws it off a little bit and to be honest I don't have any other cards I would uh, put in there but just a tip. Aside from that from having the wallet for about a month and a half I would give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing that I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because of the price and mainly just because of the price. Uh, it is a very expensive wallet with a lot of things you do pay for the name. I don't think this wallet costs anywhere near $900 to actually make um, or even sell close to that but you do pay for the name, you do pay for the Goyard name. It is a very very prestigious brand and to be honest I've had no complaints since and my hope is to get a lot of use out of this wallet in the future. Now, if you do like these type of videos, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing down below. I would greatly appreciate it, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.